and Hello, hello, anyone who may be watching now later on on YouTube, Helene here along with... Lucky here! And welcome to Something Sunday, number 24. And uh, yeah, this first game <laughs> always, we almost had to skip because I tested it earlier if it worked with OBS, but just now when I started up it kept crashing. But uh, yeah, welcome to Cow the Kangaroo 2, which is getting a bit stretched in OBS it seems. Uh, yeah, that's too bad then. Uh, let's see. All three of the games that are planned today or should have controller options, even though now it's not responding here. But uh, yeah, this is an old little platformer. Nothing too amazing, nothing too bad. I've played through this before. Papa so. Param! Pam Pam! Papa Param! Pam Pam! Ah? Where is that? How much longer do I have to look? Finally! When it comes to parrots, you know that I'm the best. I can fly for hours, don't ever need to rest. I know it all, so it's easy to see. Why no silly hunter will ever catch me? So, I found you at last. Quiet! Stop that racket! They'll hear us for sure! We need you! Only you can help us! The horrible, mean, cruel hunter has started to kidnap animal 
holes again. The hunter is surrounded by vicious henchmen. To get to him, you'll have to take care of them first. But Aaron, can't you see that I need help too? Hmm. Let me think. will soon be docking. To move around, use the directional buttons. Press the action button to jump. The coins will show you which way to go. See you soon. Okay. And yeah, it's not responding to the controller actually. Oh, bloody heck. Uh, yeah, we still have the arrow keys. And yeah, not the mouse buttons though. Uh, it's, uh, we can strafe with control. And jump with space, which is well, space pretty standard. If I remember, yes, we have a double jump. But yeah, this is a bit of a B grade game. It does have a weird. Feeling of it here's like a Banjo Kazooie in those. Or at least, well, I try to be like them. Help! Here! Help me! <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll yeah. jump onto it. Yes, I will. In, in just one second. Big deal. Too. Let me in, you big oaf! Hit the road, Barut. Got any money? Three thousand ducats, or else nothing. Oh! Finally, the hunter is preparing a new convoy of captured animals. You have to stop him. The only way to free the poor beast is to get on board to save them. You need 3,000 ducats to bribe the boss man so he'll let you enter the harbor. Go talk to the beaver first. He'll take you to the forest where you'll surely find some coins. You can orient yourself by pressing the look around button. Yeah, I'm. I'm not sure how much of that is just being directly read from a, a script <laughs> and whatnot. Yeah, and uh, story is already weird. Yeah, like I said, it, it, this is far from a triple A or anything. And let's see, we have what is the action button? You can roll with Q. Um, be right back. I'm gonna put food into the machine. Okay. Let's see. Ah, shift. And... Okay. <laughs> That's not working, apparently. Uh, what is the uh, what is the action button, then? T is for look... Looking... <laughs> Come on. Uh, oh. Spaces. Hello, Kyle. I've been waiting for you. Hi, Beaver. Very well. Oh. Do you want to go into the forest? Okay, that spacebar also skips uh, the chat, it seems. Let's see. Beaver's Forest, there's 150 coins there, 20 of those crystals, and 20 K stars? Cow stars? Hmm. Okay, but, but yeah, look, this this is a pretty basic, but still rather f far from a boring little platformer, to my knowledge. To my, my knowledge and my memory. And, well, it's already a known fact that my memory isn't the greatest. Hey, cow! 
here's your first test. Find my friend. He'll show you how to use the nuts. <laughs> okay. Hey, where can I find this friend of yours? Take a look behind my cabin. You'll find coins hidden in the flower pots and boxes. Press the attack button to break the objects. You can also attack your enemies by pressing the attack button. Yeah, obviously this is in the good parts made for kids. But that doesn't mean it's not enjoyable. Yeah, no. Uh, I guess I'll give it a bit more chance for... Also, oh, you, uh, you missed this earlier. What <laughs> He the? puts up his gloves like fucking... Like a freaking pair of binoculars. Okay, I'm... I'm actually surprised with it now. I feel like I've seen that a lot of times in cartoons and kids doing that. So, yeah, the only surprise would be them actually doing it in a game. Yeah, like I said, this, this is mostly meant for kids and such, but it doesn't mean that they... Pick up the nut. And press the They're just uh, completely phoning it. it in. Oh, yeah. accidentally skipped. Chat again. Uh, what is the throw button then? Alt, Shift, F, R, Q, E. Is it? Okay. Yeah, I'm probably the game for kids. But I feel like yeah. there are some games that are made for kids that I feel like they're almost yeah. insult the kids. I think they're not going to realize that there are tons of story yeah. inconsistencies and weirdness. Yeah. We can chuck these things quite a distance, huh? Yeah. Gods. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Great! Now you know how to throw nuts. There's a bell on the other side. Pick it up or else you'll have to start your adventure all over again. Okay, so the bells are checkpoints. Okay. I'm not sure if Cow can swim or not, but probably best not to find out. Okay. Action barrel to use this barrel, okay. okay. The music picks up a bit. Okay. Barrel has a hit bar. Health bar. Already doing a throw, though. Oh, There's nothing going. I'll stay with you for a moment, since I still might be able to help you. Oh, well, we accidentally missed some coins there, but okay. And this is the friend that the beaver was talking about then, I... I think, oh, uh... <laughs> okay, no solicitors. <laughs> and, okay, they can break the locks. Actually, let me, yeah, let me just remove the mouse from the cursor from the screen there. Did the bug seriously come across into the lock? Basically. Oh dear. Okay, I see another crystal up there. And there we go. Rather down it comes. But now there's angry bees. Wasps or whatever. Okay, these attacks don't have too much range, but yeah, you were you were boxing kangaroo. Oh, hello. Okay, so you get these K stars or cow probably cow, cow stars by defeating enemies. Let's see then. What is over here? Is it woodpecker on the on the <coughs> on the tree? Hmm. Okay. I think these crystals are needed to open up new worlds because I saw. Uh, oh, hello! Another. Jump on the green button to open the gate by pressing the action button, then the roll button. You can also use that combination to attack an enemy. Don't forget that there are some enemies that you can only fight like that. Okay. Uh, a ground stomp, of course. Like, because every platform <laughs> has one of those. Okay. 
that opens that up. And we can also jump in the barrel here to grab these coins quick. Okay. I have this. I like the. I like the fire uh, pattern on the gloves. Even though, well, personally, I see that the pattern overdone. Yeah. Oh, hello. Okay. <laughs> is that a gnome? Or... Yep. It was something, at least. Okay. Health, of course. Once under the net, press the action button twice to grab onto the net. You'll do a double jump, then grab it. Good luck. Okay. I hope I miss her there. <laughs> I thought you said that this is how you kill yourself. I thought, wait. No, she, she did not say that. But yeah, just net hanging from the ceiling. Something that every platformer does as well. Oh. Okay, hidden just around the corner. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that even if Cow can swim or not, I very much doubt that he'll be able to swim uh, in a rapid water like this. Yeah. Even if you can swim, there are limits to what you can swim in. Oh, like, yeah. Don't un ever underestimate rapids, Even, especially the ones that you may not be able to see right away, like the undercurrent, which are basically outright dangerous. Yeah, if, so, if water is going fast enough, uh, then even it would be, and even if it was just at ankle height, it could be uh, uh, powerful enough to sweep you off your feet at the very least. Yeah, and if you have a, hear Coastal warning you to not swim too far due to the underdraft, or what it's supposed to call again, is too strong, just listen to them if I don't swim towards that direction. Or, yeah. sure, they look peaceful at the top, but the water under it, under the surface, will drag you. So, it's basically a natural death trap. Yeah, there's plenty of people that they have to save because, uh, well, they thought uh, oh, it doesn't look bad, so... <laughs> and, uh, oh. Okay. Yeah, there's I... cyborg <laughs> acorns. Uh, actually, no, not acorns. I, I sort of have learned that uh, experience myself, not in the sea, luckily enough, but in a, a rocky quarry water area where people can bath, but I do want to be careful at times, especially when it's very high. And yeah, it's not too dangerous, but it can be dangerous if you're not careful enough. And I know that. Sure, it's dark, it's nice on top, top, but I can see. Like, I've been able to feel just how strong the current is under me. So yeah, while pl I'm plenty of people have been dragged out uh, into sea uh, to drown for that uh, with that. For me, this case will be being dragged into a very deep rock pit. And drown or fly up a rocky waterfall. So yeah, there's a reason to tell you to be careful in that area about that. It's but look, anyone has to fly there? As far as I know, but I've been at least strict on uh, to be careful. Okay, that works. <laughs> Typically, oh, you people use hamsters for this, but uh, I guess beavers are oversized, can count as oversized hamsters. You freed him and instantly put him to work. <laughs> Without dialogue. And that, that feels a bit awkward. It could just be that he's doing his daily uh, exercise routine. And what about Thank you, cow. Not far from my cabin lives a giant plant that has fallen under the magician's spell. Be what careful. magician? 
The plant will attack you when you get near it. Press the roll button quickly so you can roll under it. When you get close to the stem, cut it with your powerful tail. And well, <laughs> there he goes and just plain vanishes. <laughs> Okay, tail attack. It's a freaking bow tie. Uh, let's see. Okay, th this is basically just a piranha plant with a different color. Uh, what would the tail attack be? We have the. I looked away and I thought you just got eaten at that point. Alright, now you did get eaten anyway. Yeah. Uh, what is the tail attack button? Slack on XC. We can move the camera like this with the arrow keys. Okay, that is nice to know. Do I need to be running to use it? Hmm. Oh. I guess we won't find out then. And we can't hit. We can't deal with porcupines because, of course, they're full of <laughs> spines. Let's get a bit of momentum first. There is stuff down there. And let's just get to the bell first. Because it seems that we're, if, when we die, the stuff that we've collected at least stays. So we can drop down. And... Again, we can't move. Possibly. Oh, oh, this is shallow enough to actually move around in. Okay. Probably should have guessed that by the fact that it isn't moving. Because if this was just plain death water, be a, it would have been a bit awkward. Yeah. So. The, uh, it doesn't look that much different from the moving water, actually. I think. Here comes an, uh, here comes another uh, angry hammer hermit. Okay, at least they're generous enough with health because, well, of course, it's it's this game is mostly meant for kids, like I would have said like five times now. So of course they're going to be uh, generous with health, especially on the first level. I think I've played a few kids games, but they are not generous with help. Kiko, I am happy to see you. It's good to see you too. On the middle of the five red mushrooms, six. there's a herd of badgers who take great pleasure in trampling my fine shrooms. Break them up and head them toward the lodges. And how, pray tell, shall I do that? It's child's play. Just jump on the back of Mama Badger, the biggest one in the herd, and drive her. The rest will follow her lead. As you wish. I'll do my best. Okay. <laughs> so we literally have to drive a badger. Okay. hurts. <laughs> Um <laughs> Okay. Uh I think <laughs> I think the game thinks that kangaroos are made out of uh stretchy taffy or something. What the <laughs> Let's see, nothing here. There's a coin floating over there though, so we are probably going to end up there. Yo, 
You have to hurt all the little badgers to their den. Hey, okay. miss her that. I thought you said need, need, need to lead all the badgers, little badgers to their death. <laughs> okay. What's my theory today? And it seems to be more that they. It seems to be less that they follow her lead than that they act, run away in terror from her. And, oh, come on, she has glasses on. Uh, okay, little rascals into the yeah, dance. These are not badgers. Come on. Uh, yeah, they. The only thing I really got right is maybe the fur pa uh, pattern, but they forgot the damn tail. Okay, oh, one of you got away. Come on, get in there. Thank you, cow. <laughs> Oh, gee, that was some rapid growth. Why don't those badges look more awesome like it? Tailors and eaters. Hmm. I don't know why, but I feel so critical of this game. Uh, maybe because it's similar to uh, Rayman 2, which did a lot of these things better. Maybe this is why the coin was in the And uh, yeah, eventually we'll get to Rayman Run, as well Run. with this. The Great Bear is coming. Okay, we missed five coins and one star. And yeah, let's at least do the Careful, other. Cow. Oh, the Great Escape, come on. You have to collect the bonus speed ups. The coins will show you which way to go. And yeah, here is. Oh. Boing boing. Yeah, the, you draw, you drew comparison to Ben, oh, to uh, Crash Bandicoot earlier, and uh, yeah, this pretty much confirms it. And uh, almost fell in, missed one coin. Well, uh, yeah, this is basically a cheap uh, Australian uh, Crash Bandicoot. Well, I didn't say the bandicoot. I said bandicoot is screwy, but. Uh, definitely within that same class of those games. Yeah, I just love how he's just bouncing on all fours for some reason. Yeah, shut up. Oh. Ah. <laughs> and of course, as usual in these escape sequences, if you miss one thing, uh, you're pretty much uh, dead and have to restart so, again. Yeah, that's a bit also like uh, what's brought a merciless game. Yeah, it also doesn't help that now that we've collected the coins, uh, we can't actually see where the speed ups are going to be. But at least we have enough maneuverability that we can adjust for that, or when they pop into view. Okay. And the water's going to start in just a bit here. Yep. Uh, okay, I, I was going for this mushroom there. Okay. Oh yeah, after this we'll call it. And then we can move on to the second game, which is Katamari Damashi Reroll. Hey, I didn't have enough turn rates there to go for the islands. Well, for the second, the third uh, platform. Trying to keep brights 
this time to hit the, uh, the bouncy platform. It's probably a mushroom. Okay, and the water's going to start here. There we go. Yo, come on. Well, at least they put in a checkpoint and you don't have to start from the entire beginning. Yes, yes, shut up. Okay, and then the water's going to start here. Oh, oh, come on. <sighs> Still just a stupid little bounce. Or, oh no, he's not bouncing on all fours. He's he's jumping like a kangaroo would. Actually, like a kangaroo actually would. It's just the way he moves his arms makes it look like he's bouncing on all fours. Oh, you went to kangaroo early, all right. Well, you're talking about the bear. I was wondering, is he really... He really see this right? Are we there? Stop chasing. And, yeah, that's it. Okay. Some extra stuff to break. And we, okay, we can't break those. Uh, hello. Press the throw button to throw the boomerang. You can only carry 20 at a time. To aim better, press the step aside button. Okay. Yes, yes, stop the level wrinkling. Okay, this is some very Rayman 2 music at the moment. Is the bear going to pop up again, or are we in the clear now? Okay, come on. Come on, you three. Time to buzz off. Okay, come on. Come on. It's a pretty small window to attack. Luckily, they didn't deal like a massive amount of damage. And I can hear another checkpoint bell. Yep, right here. Okay, uh, knock knock. Nobody home. Okay. Are we going to get chased again or not? That's a good question. Uh, well, you look this for something else. Go! Run with me! Oh, he's going to open up the gates. Uh, yes. Maybe the tail attack that we were supposed to use on that uh, killer plant was the jump attack with them. Because that does, does make a tail slash. Hold <laughs> it. Oh. Thank you. Then I'm guessing. Yeah, we gotta use nuts on nuts. <laughs> so that's a very generous uh, interaction or auto aim with this. It's more like eight ball against nuts. Okay. Yeah, this isn't needed anymore. So let's scrap our stuff. And move on. I expected that red barrel to blow up. Come on. Uh. 
But uh, yeah, it's a simple, simple little silly game. But I don't think we'll really be uh, doing streams of this. Yeah, there's just something about it I'm not liking. I sure yeah, I'm guessing part of it is the voice acting. Because, uh, yeah, that is pretty uh, stilted. Yeah, the voice acting and the... Uh, so for the storytelling, it feels yeah. like... It's awkward. Yeah, it's not much of a story anyway, it's just a hunter doing bad things. Uh, go beat up. Yeah, because it is. Most kids games in this uh, variant are usually a bit more... Well, I mean, Thank you this game's kids, uh, the better without being a bit smarter. Okay, this is quite a bit of a change already. <laughs> hmm. oh, 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 okay, and that almost tipped her over. And yeah, just plain <laughs> magic for no reason, uh, floating platforms. It's a big spider web there. There. Yeah, they're basically acting as windows. Oh. Still. I found a little time waster. If I remember correctly, when I originally played this game, it was uh, after I traded in. Yeah, you know, the Shark Tale game. Be really careful. There's a case full of dynamite over there. It's gonna chase you until it runs into something. <laughs> okay, a chasing case of dynamite. Okay. Yeah, it's li it's literally dynamite with legs. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is so obviously a copy. Of the uh, the running shells from Rayman 2. Uh, yeah, I just feel like it's a very awkward mix of all those uh, genres, of all those games, and just yeah. Okay, yeah. A fun little time waster, nothing too special, but there's far, far worse out there as well. <laughs> At least better than short tail, what the? How can you give a bite of food before you confuse the brain of me? Okay, and uh, on Cow doing his daily exercise, let's call it there. And move on to the second game, which is. Uh, which is a re-release slash remake, yeah, re-remake of a, a rather classic old game, or at least it's considered to have a rather classical standing. And I need to enlarge that because it start. It only starts up in a window here. Uh, so yeah, game capture doesn't really want to work with that. No, all right. Thoughts? I 
it's saying we broke for Kira again, people. <laughs> Just let me roll back here with my chair. What the <laughs> It's Japan, so of course. No, 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 no. Ah, hello, Prince. This is the king. Long time no see. This lot today would be a good day for Roland. Katamari. Prince? Well, I'd certainly say that whoever he came up with this probably would have been rolling something. Where the first rolls, the second follows. Roll, roll, roll. For that purpose alone, we went to the bother, the bother of making this space. The king of all cosmos going through the bother just for rolling a damage and Katamari. And just for that, went through the bother. So, we would like you to start the rolling, but, 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 but. First things first. BUT. First things first, does the prince like vibration? With that, it means controller vibration. It means the moving and the shaking. No, no, I hate it. Playing is bad. <laughs> I love drawing. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> if that's what you say, what you declare, then you can turn the vibration on and off with the back button on the controller. Yes, oh okay. good. We shall see you later. Uh, yeah, to, to control this thing, we need to use both of the control sticks. Like, going forward, I have to press them both forwards. I'm still confused. How many men in Namco games have seen a few, and none of them was like this? Break. I didn't and even know Namco made games like these. Yeah. Yes. Okay. My very princely indeed. Such skill. Such class. It is rolling around the ball. Dazzling. We feel a swoon coming on. Next challenge is charge and roll. Quick turn, look and jump. Careful, careful with the look and the jump. Not easy to do when you're rolling. In a hurry. We shall see you later. Yeah. Charge and roll, it, it means to just flick these two back and forth in opposite directions. You can look around with this. And quick turn is by clicking them in. And jump is for just getting a look at the surrounding areas. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Amazing, yeah, we get it, King. <laughs> yeah, I'd say the King of All Cosmos has been uh, hard at work inventing uh, some joints. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I'm guessing he's also drinking and driving. No, it was indeed not a dream. We really did it. The king of all cosmos has really done it. A sky full of stars. We broke it. Yes, we were naughty. Completely naughty. So, so very sorry. But just between you and us, it felt quite good. <laughs> Not that we can remember very clearly, but we were in all nature's embrace. 
So yeah, he was high as can be. And uh, well, with a head like that, I don't blame him. He felt the beauty of all things and felt love for all. That's how it was. Did you see? We smiled a genuine smile. Did you see? The stars splintering in perfect beauty. So many there used to be. Almost a nuisance. Now there's nothing but darkness. Yeah. Just but a dream. Yeah. But a beautiful one. What? That miraculous, fabulous moment has passed. It's over. Now, so just say if his scratchy voice is getting annoying. He came to and found everyone furious. Even the king of all cosmos was not spared their wrath. Really, everybody was here, irate. So anyway, TV Prince, hurry up and bring back the glorious starry sky. So yeah, he went out, he went out on a bender, uh, destroyed everything, and now he's pushing the blame, and now he's pushing the responsibility of fixing it onto us. Our problem, your problem, yes? You owe us your existence. We collect on the debt, yes. Dick. Hand in hand, always there, yes? The very definition of the father-son bond, yes. <laughs> Alright then, get cracking. Sending things to Earth. And uh, yeah, that's basically what we have to do. We have to make uh, new stars, aka big enough balls. <laughs> Here we are, Earth. All of things, as usual. Mm -hmm. Ah, so... so small. You're as small as ever. We didn't notice, not one jot, but with the stars and all. What is that? That body, that physique? Could you really be our son? Why oh, they have the same head? Ah, ah, I got it. Build yourself up while you roll the Katamari. Work out and get bigger. Yes, indeed. Don't presume to take the escalator up to the throne just because <laughs> you're the prince. Ooh. Tangent. First time on Earth means no worrying about time. We think we'll come and pick you up when that Katamari is 10 centimeters. Oh, just remembered. Many things live here, scurrying around and generally getting in the way. When one of these sneaks up behind you, an alert comes up on the lower left. You should try not to bump into anything along. Don't worry about it too much. It won't end the game or anything. So just relax and roll. Good luck, Insling Prince. <laughs> And yeah, the entire <laughs> yeah, the entire goal of this game is to just make a big enough, make as big a ball as you can, as quickly as possible as well. And yeah, we're <laughs> we're stealing someone's lunch, it seems. And I don't know what the thing is going on there out there. But yeah, we just need to roll this thing around, pick up things, make it bigger. And yeah, the bigger the, the Katamari gets, the bigger the, oh, the bigger the things that it can pick up. Ooh. 
Uh, yeah, it, it only slowly grows because it, how, how many nail clippers does this guy need? <laughs> Girl. Too many clippers and too many. Yeah, more many. So you have to put all those. Uh, I, I've heard this game described as a. Uh, being impossible not to smile as you play. The ball is starting to get some shape to it. Is that a, is that a Famicom or something? Up. And how many eye drops does this? No idea if I remember. Oh, we lost some stuff there. Okay. And again. And there, yeah, 10 centimeters. There goes it, Prince. How is Earth? Huh? Huh? Oh! We made a 10 centimeter calamari. Oh, how fabulous. I'd forgotten all about that. <laughs> so you're mostly clear on everything, we assume. Everyone on Earth is very nice. So they'll be very helpful, yes? They'll let you roll everything up. With a smile. That's possibly also a way. Didn't you say they were absolutely furious with you earlier? Anyway, let's go home for now. Oh yes, almost forgot. Completely slipped the mind. It, it seems like this guy has the memory of a goldfish. When rolling on Earth, there are a few more things to be careful of. You can't roll up objects while there's no katamari. Crashing into larger objects walls will break things up the katamari and reduce its size. Uh, I, I get the feeling there was more supposed to be more there. 10 centimeter, huh? It was the first goal, but it's not very exciting, is it? Next time, we want a much bigger one. The thing that you collected the most of is... My... world really is full of things. We will now release it into the sky. Team on a lock the beginning of rolling. <laughs> That's a pretty pathetic little star. What? You forgot your own planet? Really? <laughs> Are you serious? So you're not just small, but a bit slow too. Okay. Says the idiot who destroyed all the stars in the sky. <laughs> As a parent, we cannot feel that hardly responsible. So, this is your home planet. Planet where you live. And something is... I think something found the, the king's stash on the left, on the right side of the planet there. Here you can look at the stars, save the game and do lots of other things. Even visit Earth and the space mushroom. And just by pressing the left button or right button. Roll the calamari around on Earth, visit space mushroom to compete against your cousins. And that's about it, your smallness. <laughs> you get a grip, you're asked mine. 
I think he's the, not just the king of all cosmos, but the king of all dickheads either, as well. You awesome Let's see, what is this tweaking? Oh, it's, it's a bird. Control. Vibration. Okay. What is this? Present. Not found yet. Data. Save. Yes. Now to why? It, oh, I... I didn't mean to exit there. Yay! The best feature! <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I mistook which of the colors was the, uh... The, the active one, so... Uh, I can't skip this bit. Oh, oh! Okay. Interesting. Yes, okay, into well. the NA game. Uh, I can't. Okay, I can't skip it. End it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh. What is going on? Yeah, Japan is going on. That's what. Let's see sound collection. What is yeah, this? I can't see it. Moment. Okay, yeah, share it. We really should look at something to just sh share my screen entirely to you, so I don't have to share it every time. Uh, let's see, how do we... Well, uh, we really could, on the other games, just up, up into our random dealer. So another cousin has arrived. Oh, so this is for multiplayer. Okay, yeah. And uh, yeah, I, I think I think there's a, well, we all know why there's only one space mushroom left. The king ate them all. Mega Star Two. Mang Deng Sang Hao Pu. Have you ever been to the Philippines? We stopped in the day before yesterday. We hope you can visit during that uh, during the day's rolling. Like that's possible. Oh yes. Royal present for the hardworking prince. That's what we were thinking. While playing cats with your present. And it went down to Earth, just fell to Earth. Must be around somewhere, so hold it up while you're at it. Sending things to Earth. So yeah, he's just creating random junk for us to pick up. Today you'll be rolling inside the house, again. The calamari should be, let's see, around a full 20 centimeters. We can believe in you for seven minutes in Earth time. But any longer than that, and even the king of all cosmos can't be expected to wait. <laughs> we look forward to a nice calamari mini prince. Uh, yeah, from now on we have time limits. Now let me see if I think you will keep the, 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 the calling it the Kalamari. Okay. Lost some stuff there. Uh, grab these matches. Uh, ow. Uh, lost control for a bit. Can't pick those up yet. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm playing around a bit with the, con a bit with the controls here. And now we also get music. Let's pick these up. Is that quite enough? I can, I can see the appeal for that the people see in this game now. In some of it. It's just uh, oh, having some fun in a time limit and trying to uh, oh, yeah, do the best that you can. Uh, let's see if we can move around here. There we go, size up. Now we can pick up some bigger things. The heck. 
This is also a game that probably won't be very good for streaming, or at least not uh, trying to stream through like any sort of uh, uh, go out. Cons this would probably be best for uh, a stream every now and then. Okay, the mouse gets actively you know, hostile in here. Okay, keep rolling around, rolling up stuff. Oh, yeah, we can pick up those cassettes now. Calamari is as big as four oranges. Okay, let's get it bigger. Okay. Pick up all of those. Can't pick up oranges yet. We can't pick up slices. Let's turn. Oh, okay. uh, arrows. <laughs> what the hell is with? Why arrows? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it's a bit getting a bit misshapen now, like this. Come on, give me that. All of them too. What have we over here? Sticky tape. The mouse traps. Out. Okay, that cost us some stuff. I'm pretty sure. Like that. Nice roll up. So, there is. Aristocratic dazzling of, of weird. Anything that scampers, just let it roll off before it runs off. Okay. Of course, we will put this in our deck. Uh, I have no idea what the king was going on about there, but I do know that we can steal this. Some part, then we can still pass up this guy's lunch and probably his bills as well. He'll probably thank us for that. Or, oh, her bills. Uh, they'll probably be thankful all the same. Uh, oh, yeah, these are definitely bills if they're stuck in this with arrows. Lost some stuff there. Uh, we need two more centimeters of stuff, and we have only three minutes left. Then. Okay. A bit stuck. Uh, uh, okay. They're starting to run a bit low on stuff already. Uh, come on, get up there. Oh, we can pick Can we pick up the frogs? Okay. Uh, let's pick up the calculator as well. We're getting there. Uh, let's pick up these blocks. And there we go. 20 centimeters. Size of 13 pounds. Oh, what a nice calamari. Substantial, yet yeah, it goes down smooth. You're not supposed to eat it, dumbass. But actually, we would love to have a much bigger, nicer calamari. I'll leave you to your work then. Okay, okay we, are, we have reached a goal, but we can still go on for this time. To, uh... To uh, make it as big as possible. And I do not want to know what sort of uh, detergent she uses to get her socks that stiff. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, this 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 is a lot more stuff that we can pick up. Okay. Come here, little Santa. 
And yeah, you can see how this is... Who left all these knives here? And again, how stiff are these socks? Okay, you, you can see how this game would just evolve into absolute madness if you'd let it on, if you let it go on long enough. Yeah. And yeah, the bigger you get, the faster you'll also gain size because you you'll just be able to pick up more and more stuff. And yeah, that that is a pretty annoying siren, I must say. Okay, pick up some tomatoes. What's that? What's that? A drumstick hanging from a <laughs> from an eggplant. Time's up. It was boring to watch this whole time. We'll zip back to space now. Royal Rainbow. <laughs> It's 29 centimeters, 4 millimeters. It's okay, but you can do better. Well, since you're the prince, you should do much, much better. Or, you know, you could actually do something. King of all lazy. The thing that you collected the most of is... Playtime items. I heard it really is full of things. We will now release it into the sky. Achievement unlocked, rolling sweeper. Are we going to get an achievement for every... Messi. <laughs> an achievement for every of these... Levels? Come on, it's time to go. It's just in, the stars have suddenly vanished from the sky. No, oh, that <laughs> that was a that wasn't a very uh, that wasn't a very urgent uh, breaking news bit. Okay, so complete. Quit the game? No. Yes. Uh, shall we go for one more and then move on to the third game? I don't know what they're fun game. There's something about this one I really can't stand. Just the randomness or just the king of all douchebags? Everything! <laughs> okay, let's call it then. Okay, let me look how to be the best of my strongest. I have nothing right to say about this! Let's they so awkward and cringy to me. <laughs> At least the audio was so tolerable, but good God, was there's still something about this one that went the wrong way. Okay, let's see. I, I think it's do is is it's way too weird, too awkward, and awkwardly boring as well. Yeah, you don't really have much to interact on there. Yeah, and just, as it is, if that was a TV show, I would just turn it off right away. Okay. Next game. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I hope this is not the, the Sunday stream that we, we, we called Drakiris Grumpy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is the third. Yeah, and this, this one is, will certainly be streamed sooner or later. Yeah, this that I can one say because I've played through this before. Oh, and yes, I, I just want to show it off because it's no, it was the next one up uh, alphabetically, anyways. And there we go. new game. Ten days remain. So tell me again about the man in masks. Yeah, the men in masks. I see. Let's start from the beginning. 
This is our main character here. Okay, yes, this game is way better than the other two. Have you arrived? Almost there. The window of opportunity is closing. You will need to work extremely quickly. The scientist is being held somewhere within the factory. Go on. Free him and rendezvous at the extraction point post haste. Sturd. Make use of your precognition to eliminate anybody in your way. Remember, leave no survivors. Yeah, you remember... Hotline Miami? Yeah? This... Think of this as that, but uh, sideways. No, I... No, it, it, this one at least a bit more easy on the eyes than the Hotline Miami. <laughs> you pet a cat. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Yes, that should work. Yeah, all, all of this is... Our character is a precog, so they can see ahead in the future. And they use that to plan out their attacks. Ow. Okay. Well, that was a... work and yeah if we quote unquote die we just rewind back I have to say that guy was a douche bag okay yeah, that didn't work yeah we do have limited time though as can be seen in the bar at the top of... Again! I think I tried... Yeah. Uh, yeah, I should dodge through that thing instead of just... Yeah. Instead of just... Uh... But... Yeah, as you can see, one hit will kill us as well. Alright. We can slow down time as well for that. And yeah, after each time it'll just... It'll show us how it went at full speed. Almost died there. Okay. We can attack doors to open them up and kill anything behind it. And there we go. Uh. the commotion downstairs so I just thought it was the pizza guy. <laughs> Unfortunately I'm not the pizza guy. Well I'll set it for the rescue guy. Let's see if I can stand. Ouch, I was starting to think I wouldn't make it. Thank you. Okay, let's get you out of here. Or not. Check out. I hope we got that on tape. Hey boys, it's time to take out the trash. Mind the lasers. And yeah, sudden ambush. Also, sudden death. Okay. 
and still it gets repeated like that. Yeah, we'll probably skip those since they don't actually add too much. Your employers are displeased that the mission target was terminated before extraction. You're home and rest. You will receive a new assignment tomorrow. Google Yes. Uh, yeah, we'll be coming here quite a few times. Let's see what's on the TV. At least 12 have been reported dead or injured in an abandoned factory in the 3rd district. Among the dead is Dawood Bay, a government scientist first reported missing three weeks ago. Police have released few details about the killings, but have stated that it appears to be gang-related. Another news. Funad leak in the new Mecca water processing plant has contaminated all water systems in the 3rd district. 3rd district residents are urged not to use any running water until the coolant leak is contained. This includes drinking tap water, showering, gardening and watering pets. Wait, watering pets? Juncture authorities believe the situation will be under control within 12 hours. In other news... The serial killer calls the dragon is still on the loose. If you have any information regarding his whereabouts, please contact your local Juncture representative. And there it just repeats. So we can go sleep on the freaking couch. Take a seat. We look well despite last night's circumstances. So we begin. It's been two months since we halved your dosage. Are you still experiencing hallucinations? My nightmares have returned. I see, this could be a side effect of your treatment. Tell me about the dreams. Playing catch. Shadow that enters the room, tell me about that. It wasn't headed towards me, going towards the machine. How do you know about the shadow? Or if this is a repeating nightmare. Perhaps the shadow was the machine's operator? That seems possible. Yes, the person probably did not wish to hurt you. You shouldn't be afraid of them. Yes, I think you're right. Time is up. Let me get your files. Well, that was a really short, <laughs> shortest therapy session. You've been very cooperative this session. The dossier has information on tonight's task. We will speak tomorrow. can just leave. Hmm. Age 56, height 5'9, eye color brown, classification, contact code, hmm, rest is hidden. Josh Rose, well regarded tech billionaire and philanthropist, chairman of the New Mecca Foundation for Post War Reconstruction and NF and, F, <laughs> and M, FPR. I, I probably could think of a better shortening when 
Clandestine involvement in the movement of material in ward rocks. Heavily guarded, exercise caution. Yeah, we're basically an assassin. Well, that doesn't get paid enough. Hello there, can I help you? I'll just be on my way. Oh, that's such an interesting outfit. Uh, <laughs> it's called cosplay. Oh, I love anime. Who are you supposed to be? Obviously, Shinko Shikamaru from EX vs. X Sakura Redux 2. <laughs> cool, never heard of it. What's it about? <laughs> Children's Clouds Games in Primal Funk Dystopia. <laughs> I love card games. I'm so Funk Dystopia. Is it on Webflix? Uh, it's to petition for <laughs> Webflix. Oh. <laughs> I guess I'll have to search for it on the net. Well, have a good day, sir. Thanks. And, uh, yeah. Murder Row Hotel. And. <laughs> Yeah, the O is uh, failing a bit. And the W. So now it's the murder hotel. There we go. Boss the dragon, he's here. Raise the alarm. And yeah, things are going to shit already. Okay, thank you. Hello. Anyone around here? Nope. Uh, yeah, we can pick up items with B, and then we can throw them to also get kills with that. Okay, next up in the Go. Uh, each item is a one-time use. Uh, uh, I accidentally threw that up in the air. Oh. Yeah, these uh, Pompadour guys, they can they can occasionally block your attacks, so you'll have to strike them again. There we go. Fight. Dragon or Strong Terry? You kidding me? Strong Terry never skips leg day. Yeah, but the dragon can dismember a dozen fully armed men with just a sword. That's, uh. Guess the dragon would win. And that's that. And well, the dragon definitely wins of the, these guys. And yeah, we also get guys with guns to deal with. Uh oh, he got me in midair. Okay, nope, oh, missed. Yes, that should work. That. Yep. Go. What did I do? Uh, I actually picked up the bottle and immediately threw it as well. Okay. Okay, let me go into the background. And there we go. I understand why you're here. I'm not giving you the satisfaction of killing me. 
sure you're not aware what's expecting. I'm surprised there's more than one of you left. More than one? You don't know? Well, it's no matter. We made a lot of mistakes during the war. Any last words? I regret the pain I've caused through you. Farewell. The plot thickens. Because, well, of course, being able to see the future is uh, not common. And uh, yeah, that's the same guy that we, we outran the elevator. What? <laughs> Stop, there are reports of gunfire in this building. Who are you? Oh, that's just one of our guests. Hmm. Well, your guest appears to be soaked in blood. How do you explain that? <laughs> Cosplay? It's true. He said he was Shinji uh, Sakamura from EX vs. X Sakamura Redux 2. So, yeah, our bullshitting actually helped a bit. Well, then, you're just lucky that poor quality cosplay prohibition was repealed last year. You're free to go, sir. Uh, Have a good day, Shinju. What? Your employer is pleased with your results. Go home and rest. You'll receive your new assignment tomorrow. They still pay him enough. If he gets paid at all. Hey, watch where you're going. I don't know you. Are you that really noisy neighbor? It was the people next to me. Oh, well, they're the worst. I love the end of the hole. How about you? I live right next to you. Oh, that dumpy place. Well, I guess we're neighbors then. Well, this has been boring. <laughs> Bye, neighbor. A little brat. In other news, recently seen at the Mur uh, Dower Hotel. Looks like gang-related violence. At least 28 dead. I, did, I didn't keep count, actually. Among them, eccentric billionaire Josh Rose. Who fell to his death from the balcony of his penthouse suite. So far, the police have no leads. But they believe this to be a highly coordinated large-scale attack. Citizens are urged to stay indoors. In other news... Want to lose weight fast? A sanitation worker may have found the answer. Um... What have they found then? Tune in at 11 to hear the amazing story. Uh, of course. View bait. See? And yeah, it just loops. Please, come in and take a seat. 
I'd like to begin by discussing your sleep habits. Uh, is your nightmare recurrent? Yes, last night. Ah, I see. Tell me what happened in the dream. The scientist is killed. Ah, I see. You said the scientist talked to you? Before he died, he shouted at me. Immediately after he was shot, perhaps he was warning you? Ah, it's there. Yes, a warning seems most likely. Yes, I think you're right. You know, these dreams may be rooted in a traumatic memory from before your injury. Injury? The near fatal head trauma you suffered during the war left you debilitated. We've worked together ever since, despite your memory loss and distorted perception of time. The service medal you carry is an important reminder of your sacrifices, and a crucial link to your past life. Recovery has been slow but encouraging. Tell me, how is your personal life? Same as always. I see. Although social development is part of the recovery process, I do believe it is too soon to start interacting with others. Hmm, I understand. Alright, you've been very cooperative today. Just a moment. Yeah, I, I wouldn't call getting bumped into by a, <laughs> by a little brat to be social interaction. Not on that proper way, at least. This has been a productive session. We'll continue tomorrow. I think these values will actually change depending on what you say and such. And yeah, if, if you act in the red area, you'll actually interrupt. So basically shortcut everything. Is there something you're looking for? Pretty fancy place. Yeah! Age 24, 511, eye color blue, and the rest is blocked out again. DJ Electrohead, popular DJ from upscale second district involved in the trafficking of club drugs. Lightly guarded but surrounded by club goers. Extreme finesse required to eliminate without detection. Pathological liar, do not speak to him. And yeah, you know when a game is telling you do not speak to him? that you need to hear out everything they have. So a DJ, that explains a lot. Yep, press attack to begin. And here we get a bit of stealth stuff. And yeah, because of the loud music, everyone is basically deaf in here. I see what you're doing now. You're all daunting with the crowd. Yep. Don't know if you can act. If you're. I think you can probably kill these guys. But let's try and be stealthy for now. <laughs> because, uh. I don't think we can turn murder on the dance floor from a song into an actual thing. And he's in there. I forgot about the song. There we go. Oh, hey, you're not supposed to be here. Turn around now. We're going to have to, or we're going to have some trouble. Is he going to act? That's it, buddy. You asked for it. And that camera. Okay. okay the, yep. <laughs> and that was Big Terry, apparently. <laughs> Who will pay for this? No, I won't. Yes, that should work. Uh, 
Ah, yeah, turrets. These things will be annoying. There we go. What was the... Go. Don't forget that you are invincible while rolling. Go on. If you're having trouble predicting a good plan of action, remember to concentrate to slow time to ex execute more difficult maneuvers. Uh, let's see, which one was that again? Yeah, the left trigger. Yeah. So they got them both there. Yeah, this thing really fires quickly. Try to roll there, but it just fires too quickly. There we go. And then we just slice it in half from behind. And then we get caught there. Okay, at least we can look around like this. And we can reflect bullets back at people, like was shown in the start. And there we go. I think you can see why people call this a, a side-scroller Hotline Miami. Yeah, I can see that. It seems way more interesting, at least. Or at least, easier to look at. Yeah, we oh, class blades there, so we both got knocked out for a moment. And there we go. bit of organic environmental learning. Because, uh, yeah, no, those guys would have shut us to pieces. Oh, 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 I did not mean to hit that, but okay, it works. And uh, let's see. Yeah, that's some. This is some very heavy defense for a nightclub, huh? With freaking lasers. Yeah, quite extreme. But yeah, if he's dealing in drugs, then of course he'd want some extra security. But yeah, I did. I did <laughs> totally did not aim for that thing. But oh, there's a turret over there that I missed. So it was good that <laughs> I accidentally hit that instead. Richard the Slender, the Council of Skinny Rickies has made a decision regarding your membership. Uh, is this it? Are you finally gonna make me a member? You've tamed your beast's mane into the most powerful hairstyle, the Pompadour. You've survived the trial by grease fire. Do I even want to know? However, I'm afraid that you cannot join us. Oh, man. You're gonna join us until you shotgun this beer. <laughs> oh, you guys, you totally got me. Well, someone else is also going to get you. Chug, chug, chug. <laughs> Splendid performance which would make our forefathers proud. <laughs> no longer shall you be a slender Richard. No one, you're a skinny Ricky. <laughs> Cannot wait to tell Strong Arm and Terry about all this. I hope you can tell him soon enough. 
fucking hell. Oh, okay, there's two gunners there. Uh, actually... There we go. And the other gunner got me there, okay. Hey guys, drinks on me. Okay, that got a bit tight. But I still got him. Do not talk to Electrohead. Why? Do not talk to Electrohead. Again, the more you tell people not to do something, the more they are going to do it. Are you, uh, real? Yes, I'm here to kill you. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, you are real. Okay, man, let's stay cool here. Uh, I'll give it all back, I'll give it all back. Why do you think I'm not real? That's been repeating ever since I took those drugs. That's what this is about, right? We, we've had this conversation a bunch of times, but it's never been this real. Fuck drugs. Your shit, man, the drugs. I only tried it once at a party, I swear. It was wild. It felt like time was slowing down, repeating. I've seen crazy shit ever since. I'll give it all back. Tell me where it is. Are you sure you're real? I, I mean, it's still in your storage unit. I didn't steal anything, man. I bought the whole unit in an auction. They said the owner was dead. I don't know the drug's name. I don't know what it's called. It was in, in an unlabeled bottle. Wait, you don't even know its name? Who the fuck are you? Dude, my boys are gonna fuck you up so hard. You're fucking dead. Oh god, somebody come help, please! Oh, hello there. That was a familiar face with the blue hair. Now the last one got me. Okay, I gotta get the drop on those guys. Can't drop down here. I completely missed what actually happened there. Like I rolled and I think I got one of them. Yeah, I need to. I need to use the slow time dancing. Still got me there. there. There's a short delay between your attacks, so you need to be careful of that. There we go. Oh, okay. someone's still around. Oh, well. Okay, yeah, a heavy guard. Yes, that should work. Yeah, we, it's probably best if we switch that to auto uh, skip. Your employers are pleased with your results. The cleanup crew is on route. route. We will receive your next assignment tomorrow. And there's a little brat again. The dinosaurs. There you are. What are you doing out here? I'm investigating with my friend. 
Hello, behemoth. Hello. <laughs> I spit it out. Where are you hiding, Leviathan? Who's Leviathan? Don't they teach you anything in school? He's behemoth's big brother and the king of the sea. What's this? Behemoth only glows when Leviathan's nearby. No, open up or <laughs> kick your butt. Get out of the way. Let us in. I give up, come in. <laughs> well, he gives up pretty easy. Nice. I told you he'd be a pushover behemoth. <laughs> what a thump. <laughs> no wonder you didn't want me to come in. And do so are still just getting high in there, I presume, from the smog. Here, you take Behemoth. You glow the closer you get. Let's see. Search cupboards. Yes. Nothing. I don't know how the hell that thing would end up in the fridge. Nothing but fish heads. Okay, I worry about your diet if it's only fish heads. Search behind the couch. Thing. Search the corner. Also nothing. Searching on the couch. And there's the little bastard. See? I knew it. You had him all along. Must have belonged to the previous owner. Hello, Leviathan. Arr. I didn't know he was there. Sure. Aren't you too old to be playing with toys, mister? Well. I gotta go. You can keep Leviathan. For now. <laughs> If you're not nice to me and Behemoth, we're going to kick your butt. <laughs> yeah, she's got... Uh... Yeah, she's got some bites to her, at least. Other news? No leads yet on the murder of underground DJ Electrohead. <sighs> Suffered a fatal knife wound while performing at a local nightclub, Club Neon. Knife? Yeah. The killing triggered a stampede, leaving dozens of club guards injured or dead. Ow. Including beloved new mecha mainstay, Strong Terry. Oh, well, so much for Strong Terry being able to beat the dragon. Despite this, club neon manager Sterling Silver says the show must go on. Our doors will be open again as soon as we mop up the viscera. Okay, at least he's being uh, honest. In other news, bridge collapsed in the third district has left seven dead and over 100, 100 homeless. Despite the insistence of third district residents, Juncture maintains that the long-term integrity of the third district infrastructure is fla faultless. Yeah, I'd say a bridge collapsing kind of uh, contradicts that. And I think we'll call it there for now. <clears throat> yeah, th this is a this is an interesting game. Yeah. It's also a bit of a short one. Not that I need to only take like a single stream. But probably three to four or so. <clears throat> oh, not that long. Yeah, still, let's not do too much here. Now, I did have one more game prepped for t to try out, but we are a bit short on time. I don't, mm, I, you want to try the, the fourth game for 15 minutes? Yeah, that would be rather game? short for it. We can, we can try. Uh, what's his name again? Killer7.
killer salmon. All right, okay, I can give that a try. Okay, sharing to you. And which of these will catch it? Catch a specific window. There we go. Move the cursor away. This game contains mature subject matter and graphic displays of violence. But the last one also did rather. Grasshopper manufacturer. A Capcom game. Yep. And this one is considered pretty much a classic. Well, a bit of a cult classic, so it's a rather niche as well. Killer Saban, right. I feel like someone else told me about this game before. Yep. Wait, you have told me about this game before, haven't you? Also, yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay, normal, helpful hints and other features make the game proceed relatively smoothly. Deadly, in addition to limitation and hints, expect some extreme combat. Yeah, let's uh, let's go with normal. And yeah, this is another Japanese game. Target Zero Angel. January 20th, 2010, in the winter. Um. Yeah, I've heard that this game gets weird. Why is the moon blue? Well, I've heard of I've heard of once moon. in a blue moon, but uh, not literally. <laughs> Garcian Smith. Hello, and who are you? Cloaked in darkness. Christopher Mills. Did they just... I don't see the book in his hand. Hmm. I must say that I know almost nothing about this game other than that it's considered a cult classic. You mean this shit all? That's where they all hang out. Our information tells us that there's 14 of them. <laughs> and they're all for hunting. Nah, I keep one alive so we can ask who the boss is. Anything else I should know? Nah, not really. You'll know when you see them, they're, uh, different. We'll do. Well, may the Lord smile. And the devil have mercy. Okay, a bit soft on volume. Later, uh, quite big uh, text for us to read. Simon number 33. Destroy the Heaven Smile headquarters and capture the chief alive. Uh, yes, <laughs> let's learn the controls. Hate to run. <laughs> need to change right trigger to ready need to lock onto targets uh. okay <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is so it's sort of a, like a run and a, a bit of a sort of on rails thing. Okay. Um, hello. I don't want to go any further. It's dangerous. 
My friends are all dead. They were all murdered by people that look like this. I have been chosen. Okay. Oh shit. There's more than 14. Oh, those bastards are breathing. Then okay, I think it's going oh it's not going over the characters, it's going over or is it going up dance I'm confused now. Uh, first off though, let's up the volume a bit here in OBS. Let's bring that up four decibels. That should be about enough, I think. Everyone's last name is Smith. There. I'll need to remember to lower that back down to eight because that seems to be the best. Uh, case. Um, okay, what's with the, <laughs> the red gimp hanging from the ceiling? Uh, um, uh, hello? Who are you? Oh, the... A safe station? Okay. I... Who the hell? Iwazaru? Okay, yeah. I can completely see why people uh, call this game weird ass. So, whenever that guy's around, there's a save station? Maybe? I'm confused. Okay, there's a target up ahead. What is it? Um, okay, so keep enemies at a distance. The name of Harmon. Who the hell is Harmon? Um, Pressing down on the right stick, we reload. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, is there a specific reason that you're aiming for the groin, Dan? Groin or gut? Travis. Okay, so it is the characters' names. Uh, I can't target that thing. I can reload, though. This guy's a... Kikazaru? So, so, 
So that guy finds uh, any rounds that we miss or forget. Um, okay. Camellia <laughs> Right button and Y three times. Okay, whatever that's supposed to do, it doesn't seem to be working. Okay, and that one just straight ran off, and there's something else here. Okay. Dad was one of the bombers. <laughs> Reload his automatic as well. That's the bot just spoke off, but. How do you come Yeah, I'm just confused. Grab again. Duplicator. Egg laying. Heaven smile. Okay. Soul Shell 2. Uh, I've tried every uh, right button there is. Okay, so we're not. This is a dead end, I'm guessing. Already spoken to Travis there. It's down this hallway <laughs> then. Yeah, I think in part we can't use that ability because we don't have any blood. They didn't really explain well how you get that blood. I'm guessing from killing things or. Uh, give me a moment. There's two bots to squat, uh, squash here. And let's also move this chat box because that was popping up in the middle of things. So I'll just move that down here then. Uh, yeah, this is a weird ass game. Oh, hello again. Yeah, you're, of course you're in a tight spot. You're in a freaking gimp suit.
Yes, we could have guessed that there was nothing heavily about these abominations. Yep. And we hit the three hour mark. The three, two hour mark. <laughs> yeah, right, let's keep this. <laughs> Ow. Let, let's keep this going for at least a bit more. Oh. I see a... Oh, I think... I think we collected... You've got blood. Okay. Let's reload. To be certain. <laughs> If, uh, let's not miss. Um, okay, I missed why it blew up there. Uh, I'm guessing you need to shoot off their body parts to get blood. Yeah, I'm guessing we're sort of we're some sort of demon hunter, and hello there. You're not going to talk or anything. Blood room. Seven thick, seven death liters of great serum from blood by pressing the A button. Um, creating serum. Okay. Again, just weird ass game. Okay, this guy's just here to tell us stuff. Let's see, blood info. Blood. Yes, yes. Well, not really that tight. <laughs> For once. Let me explain how blood works. Blood in the beaker is pure. Give blood to the doctor inside the TV. The doctor may look a bit off, but she's a true gentleman. <laughs> he won't do you wrong. He'll prepare blood serum for you. Use them to give personas a heightened consciousness and never level up. This allows a member to achieve special attacks. Okay, so we want blood, which I presume we get by shooting off body parts. And we need that for level up. Let's see, blood absorption. This probably tells us of how to acquire. This blood is scary stuff, but without blood, there is no tomorrow. Personas can absorb the blood out of the enemy. It acts as a stabilizer to help handle multiple personalities. Without blood, your very life is in danger. Uh, yeah, I'm <laughs> I'm just plain confused. Still. <laughs> oh. Shoot off your leg, would that do anything? Anyways, continuing on. Let's try at finishing at least this level for as far as we can. Micro smile. <laughs> uh, the hell is. Oh, I thought there was something behind. It. Glass, but I know there was one of these jackasses sneaking up. Low quick. Okay, and so if we get too close, uh, they'll just play and explode. <laughs> oh, runny guy. Uh, 
Yeah, th this feels a bit like uh, a mix between Hellboy and SCP or something. Come on. You gotta help me. I... Yeah, she's far beyond help. Right, there's one in the distance. Not too far away for us to catch. Okay, shooting off the legs helps slow them down. Who are you? I'd like it. Another ghost. You tell me, how's old Smith? Things are going good with Mills now? Oh, old Smith, not much of a successor. But a good man, yes. Is that some sort of Chinese luchador mask? Thank you, much credit to you. Ready for today's hint? Check the candlesticks. Strange design indeed. Is in here? The order is hidden. Use this mask? Okay. Mask lost for blood. Thicker blood. Demon's blessed for blood, yes? If you're brave, shoot the mask. Now I'm not sure if I want to. What's in here? Yes, the candlesticks. Insufficient flame. Uh, air conditioner. I would wish want to shut that off. Let's continue down this way. Oh, I heard you, you bastard. Another ghost? On the third floor now. I didn't mean to shoot. Yeah, I'm bad. Oh, it's you again. Yes, yes. Shut up. You you say that every time. He's here. Uh, who is he? Okay, this, this guy doesn't think too highly of us, does he? Uh, what's over this way? Carrier pigeon. I see no pigeon. Oh, there. Um, dear Amir, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance and many thanks for choosing me for the job. My name is Johnny Gagnon, otherwise known as Speedster. The patient is called Bianca. 
get excited when I slit a guy's throat. I know that may be sick, but I do the best work in town. This is a report on the job. I'm sure you'll like what I have to say. Watch them like a hawk, so I think a hefty reward is in order. There are seven in the Smith Syndicate. Dan Smith, who uses a large caliber revolver. Kate Smith, who uses a large automatic rifle. We're, we're playing as Dan Smith, so what the heck is going on? Con Smith, who uses two full auto pistols. Mask the Smith, who uses grenades. Kevin Smith, who uses knives. Coyote Smith, who uses a modified gun. Garcian Smith, who uses a small pistol. They are an armed force that rivals a small army. And we, we, also, we saw another character earlier who was called Garcian, but I don't think his last name was Smith. I wouldn't want to be on their bad side. In conclusion, it is the interest of the United States to keep them around. There's no telling when they might come in handy. I'll be contacting you again, Johnny Gagner. Okay. Yes, there's some weird -ass shit going all around. you away, jackass. What is that? I guess the, <laughs> the glowy parts on them, oh, might be a weak spot or some kind. Okay, retreat, turn around. Oh, they, they are... Ow, they are quick on all fours as well. I'll have to keep them in mind. Uh, you again? Lord Smith, I sell information. It's not so simple, no. Check the toilet. I think we might have found the other people who had were uh, smoking something whilst they were making their game. spot is an instant kill and that seemed to give us quite a lot of blood uh, yes what's with the sprinkler I think we need to set it off or something I am so it's... confused yeah you're not the only one uh, what yeah, did we I'm having trouble following the game so far due to it's so confusing. Just die. Don't make me say it again. I'm a cleaner. Oh, so it was Garcian Smith. Okay, uh. Well. <laughs> oh, this guy is a bit bigger. Oh, he also reloads quite quick. Oh, I, 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 I think that's a silencer. 
Yeah. Uh, are we back on the first floor? No, yeah, we're back on the second floor. Right. Uh, Okay, first you say you're nothing but heavenly, but now you're saying they are the... Eh? Hmm. Hey. If I remember correctly, this game was made by, or primarily led by a guy called Coda7, who is known for... Uh, oh. Who is known for rather odd games. And yeah, Gosh. Gosh shoots and reloads faster, but his gun also deals less damage. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if we can even finish this uh, level like this. Uh, so. Yeah, might be better to call it here. Yeah. I <laughs> just have no idea what's actually going. the hell is going on. Yeah, well, so, this is this, this is what's not a game you can just have a good idea for just a half an hour or fifty minutes. Yeah, how do we even quit? Oh, oh there no. we go. Return to title screen. Uh, yeah, I'm just I'm just plain confused. You're not alone. So, yeah, a bit longer, <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, I'm not even sure if that game can be streamed like that because I just have no clue what is actually going on and it's now just leaving me on a black screen. Okay, yep, yep, there we go. Yeah, I think it's one of the games that a person should have played it before, like once or twice in the past, before they stream it. Yeah. So... Okay, according to OBS's stream chat, there are uh, quite a lot of people watching. Oh. It also says there's only two viewers. So I'm guessing that means there's a bunch of bots in there or something. Either way, uh, actually, I I kept a list somewhere here or a, a site. So let me just grab that. No, but it can't people that doesn't have a uh, Twitch account. It could be. No, actually, no, there's. There, it's, it gives a long list of actual named users here. Oh. Uh, where was that list that I kept? Or. Uh, there we go. Twitch account bots. Another TV viewer, which is in here. Uh, can't see. What can I do? I can block them. Hmm. Not sure if that will actually throw them out, but uh, well. Uh, yeah, this is a trouble that we had earlier with actually name listing off people who have been watching that we can't tell who may or may not be bots. So, yeah, let, let's just keep that to people who actually know to be actual viewers and people who actually comment in the chat. And that list suddenly sh shrunk a lot. So, hmm. Let's see. Let's actually let's take a quick look through here. Yeah, I can search on these names. Uh, is the, yep, Droop Dog is a confirmed bot. Joint effort bot. Okay, Luxana One, you are not showing up in the uh, over here as a bot. So thank you for watching then. MS Lenity, also a bot. Soldier Friends 11, also a bot. Violet TV, also a bot. Let's see, what if I. If I block you, let's see. Can be seen, can be hosted, uh, can be added as friend, but it's not a ban. Hmm. So yeah, that actually doesn't throw them out. So I'll have to find some way to block bots because I don't want bots fused. That that's worth less than nothing. 
Hmm. Can I actually let's give this a shot? Uh, slash no slash ban group. Okay, that banned them. I, I can use that to get rid of all of the bots in here. Uh, okay. Yeah. I'll, uh, hmm. I'll get to that some other time. We've been going long enough for now, but I at least know now how to uh, get rid of bots in here. So, yeah. Anyone who anyone has been watching now later on on YouTube who is not a bot, thank you for watching. And as always, thank you, especially Drakir. here. Oh, you're most welcome, lad. And yeah, uh, Tuesday we'll be continuing with uh, Impossible Creatures, and yeah, we'll see what happens when we're, uh, we're done with that. So yeah, as always, until then, but uh, until then. Until then, I've, I've forgotten my own little outro, <laughs> but I won't forget this one. So, see you all next time, everyone. Be safe.